Weird Science is the revolution. Birds of Prank number 10. I'll give you the credits and then we'll get into this mess. Kelly Thompson writing art by Robbie Rodriguez and Gavin Guidry. Also, Jordy Biller on colors, Clayton Coles on letters. And we're at issue 10. I don't know what the hell's happened in the first nine issues, let alone in this one, because about? this is we're, a wreck of a book, Eric. It's terrible. And people are jumping to, portals. I just sold another list. Like, what is it with these lists in this book? Is there something going on? There's also a, a reviewer that will not give this anything lower than a 10, says it's the best book they've ever read. I think they re- need to read more, but I know they have. And the idea where I saw a list of best books of the since 2000, and somebody has this on that list. How is Nothing's that? Nothing's happened book, yet, but best book, this yeah. This book isn't even the best book of the week it comes out. And it's <laughs> fucking terrible. It, it is, you can't even understand. And then when you actually get things revealed in this issue, it makes less sense. I don't know what's – also, the idea where the big mystery of, oh, my God, who's trying to take down the birds of prey and why, it is a timey whiny bullshit pocket dimension <laughs> thing that you can never <laughs> play with. How could you play along with this when it comes in and I barely could understand? What was going on in this nonsense book and in this week, I also ended up on our indie podcast reviewing Kelly Thompson's Scarlet issue, another issue that was wrecked. She just does not set things up. She just ends up having what she thinks are wow moments, big da- and then squishes them together and doesn't do anything. And it, it's it's infuriating. And I get mad. I don't know why I get mad that people like this book. Like they're enjoying the deal, but I just I got to break them out of this zombified stupor they're in if they think this is good because nothing is set up. The characters all sound the same. They do things for no reason. They say shit for I don't well, know even why. Even the idea like Big Barda in my mind, she's been around for a long time. She's a clever woman, sassy, a little flirtation at the time. When anybody writes her like now, it feels like, oh, she just came from Apocalypse, so she must talk like a cave woman. I, 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 half the time, I expect her to start every sentence out with, ugh. And and this is the thing. I hate to say it. The only one who didn't do it was Tom King in the Mr. Miracle. She she was smoking it up in that. They were smoking it up, man. Uh, but yeah, it, it's narc. It, it's, you know, the, the whole deal of, uh, you know, me, May Colson. It's always the cavity creeps to me. But when they have this, it is that play of to throw Tom King shade now, since I can't just lay low and or let it lie that I, uh, you know, gave him a compliment. Right, Sparta here. Like Tom King writes Wonder Woman sometimes because she sounds like a game woman. Yeah, I mean, what's going on? And and this whole thing seems to be a setup because at one point, like Barda, uh, you know, nobody gets in Barda's mind. I I to mind freak them, and that's all it is because none of this makes sense. They go through another portal. Nothing's ever really been explained. I mean, we went from really going and trying to help Vixen because her clothing line was causing people to steal shit. And it yep. would actually hurt her brand to then being in a fashion show with beefcakes and speedos, w- which then ended up where Barda ends up losing her clothes. She's got drapes. They go through a portal because that girl goes in. They follow, have different customs and now be in another portal with different customs. Again, I don't get it. I, I love now, a fashion show, Eric, but I, this is nonsense. Before we, what we're into was a portal into a pocket universe that was pretty much the like based on the mind of Batgirl Barbara Gordon. And we saw some things that were familiar with this. Now that we get into this next portal, everybody's concerned that we left Barbara Gordon behind. But we come to find out from this character, Scylla, that this is a pocket dimension. Portals will open up, and when you go through it, the first person who goes through the portal, the, the pocket dimension reskins the world based on that person's mind information, what it, what it feels it's comfortable with. So now that we're in the next portal, we're in like a 1950s suburban America because this big barter went through first, and that's what she seems to be into. And in this, we get to find out, finally, who our big bad of the story is the person who's come back in time using red technology to kill Barbara, uh, Barbara, Barbara Gordon, and the idea becomes this. I just uh, say the name first so people can know because it's such Stella a big or thing. Maya? Uh, Maya. It's Maya. Okay. And if you ask who, you're not going to know. That's the thing. So you get the Maya. Uh, but you go with the whole concept because but it no, doesn't we, make we any have, sense. We have seven sisters, all like, you know, I'm going to say twins. I don't remember what they said the, the term for seven siblings as it came out. Probably is it septuplets? Okay. Nah, I'm going with but it. But the idea is they all look alike and they're all named bullshit names. And the only ones you're ever going to have to remember are Sela and Maya because Maya is our big bad. And Sela is the one giving us our expo- uh, explanation. Exposition. About yeah, ex- exposition. Explanation, yeah. yeah. But this, all of them, they started gaining powers when they were around nine years old. And they, their mother, she was never the best mother, but it didn't matter because they had each other. But the problem is her mother, she went and died. And 
their father was there, but we don't even have to deal with the name of that because he doesn't matter at all. Because after Mama died, we went into this pocket dimension that our one sister was able to make with her powers. And once we were there, we're, we were never able to leave because Maya, our one sister, she started killing our other sisters. And apparently her power was like Siler from the TV show Heroes, where she kills somebody and takes on their powers. And then she started killing everybody. And at some point in this expedition, you're like this. I don't, I don't suppose it matters much. The results were the same. She came for Al- Alcyon or Alkaline. I don't know how the fuck it pronounced. First, because Alkyon could warp reality. She built the pocket dimension and knew all its secrets. Alkyon also had a voice like a bird song. And though I swore to never forget it, I have Maya. And then it becomes this. Maya had stolen Mia, Mia Mizuguchi's time traveling tech, but she couldn't make it work without a connection to the green. So we go from the idea of explaining the idea of these sisters, the pocket dimension, her one sister being crazy, killing off the other sisters for her powers. And then all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, oh yeah, Matt, she stole her time traveling tech, but couldn't make it to work. But thankfully, we couldn't, well, she didn't have a connection to the green, which made the time travel machine work. But thankfully, one of the sisters, they had a connection to the red. So she killed that sister, took that power, and made it so she had a time travel device that connected to the red. I'm like, you're just saying fucking bullshit you're saying at this bullshit. point. And, and when you're doing this, you're going through it. Okay, you have a bunch of characters. I still think that Kelly Thompson really hasn't done much with even explaining sin, but we're where we are with this. And even these others don't feel right. And then we get into this, and even the idea of maps. She's a time traveler from the future that uses great, like that was never Meridian, explained, yeah. but you're not yeah. dealing with Meridian. So when we get well, into this. Even the idea, like we, we talked about it previously, in order to use her time traveling tech, you need a connection to the green. We didn't know what that meant, like it's powered by a connection, but it seems the way it's described here, Maps is almost like an avatar of the green in the future somehow. Yeah, but it doesn't say, I, so what this is probably going to be is Sela is probably going to become a birds of prey. She's probably going to join the... But, but if she doesn't, what the fuck are you doing? Why are we explaining? You were explaining more about these girls than I thought it was Kelly Thompson. Like, I'm going to make the cuckoos over here and I'm going to do this. I, I swear we, to God. We just have to t- talk about all these sisters because we have to give the reason that Maya has all of these and, powers and that's that she the has. Thing. By the end, though, it doesn't matter. I mean, it ends up where I'm getting so more and more of infuriated with the idea that you didn't explain anything. We couldn't play along. And then we get in. The explanation is just we were little girls and there were seven of us. and We were going to have alliterative L's in our names. But then the dad got mad. We were named after Constellation. I'm like, go fuck yourself. This is so ridiculously bad and it's it's so is, you, underbaked you, you gotta, by the end that maya kills all the sisters except for two with Sela, who is our like main like person here for the telling us the story she had one sister left electra and like electra's power was to be invulnerable it almost becomes like heroes like save the cheerleader save the world because maya wanted this power of invulnerability and strength and stuff like but but she got inside it like her mind because she couldn't have her. And all of a sudden, you know, Electra's like, I need you to kill me, Sela, so you can have my power. So apparently they can just take their powers whenever they kill each other. Because that's not a power that Maya had to take on the powers. It's just you? some power that they all have. So that's why Sela's still around. Because she took her sister's invulnerability and strength, whatever bullshit she I has with she shape-shifting that, animal, animal monsters. Died, yeah. So yeah, I have a new phrase. It's save the birds of prey. Get rid of Kelly Johnson. That's what I say. <laughs> but this book, is it, it makes no sense. It hasn't. It, it's not. It doesn't. You go into this pocket dimension, which, again, we, we barely get an explanation. But when we do, a lot of it's from Barbara, who isn't even able to see out of what's going on. And she's just throwing shit at the wall. But it's right. You know, yeah. the idea, I think that when she says, oh, it looks like these worlds are reskinned when she's in like a prison. So she can't even see. And then she goes, oh, I get it. If I'm holding on to something, it, it ends up continuing on. It's like if I had a thing, gun, but doesn't it's look different. Like it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Even though in the previous issue, it looked like we're using actual toys inside instead of actually having the things that they needed. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, it's so bad. So you go in and they're like admiring things. And and at one point, I'm not even getting at until they actually full out, like try to explain the idea. Okay, it's reskin. This is Barda. Uh, And even that when the seller shows up and seller's only there because this story has made no sense if you need somebody well, just I, to explain your way through and nonsense throwing everything at you. And I just didn't get it. It just See, the, isn't these good. sisters, they come from the future, though. That's the thing. And that's why I guess they're able to, like, you know, Maya's able to leave the pocket dimension, steal Maps Miyaguchi's freaking uh, time travel tech, get back into the pocket dimension, kill her sister, steal her red powers, alter the time travel tech, for then. She, but then she can go and make the time travel tech work for the pocket dimension. So now the pocket dimension... Is goes through all time and space as well. 
Yeah, Eric. <sighs> and then the seller And the has, reason and the reason uh, yeah. we're doing all this is because their mother was Velvet Tiger. Velvet the, uh, Tiger. You know, the the um I like that. The, the Batgirl of Burnside the Batgirl villain that yeah. was there for one time. And apparently in the future, Barbara Gordon killed their mother. And now Maya, twisted and evil in the future, is going to get revenge on the Barbara Gordon before she ever has a chance to kill and their you mommy, know what, dearest. And this is one thing that I thought, actually, it, it, and even you have Sella, like, you know, timey-wimey shit. So you're already admitting. But one thing I did like, the explanation where, the bar, I think it is, uh, Dinah says, well, Batgirl doesn't kill him. We'll make sure she doesn't. And yeah. she says, well, listen, we're kind of out of time. We already had it happen. So you can't really change. Even if you do change it, we already lived through it anyway. I kind of like that explanation. If you're going to yeah. do time travel and you can't really fix it and you want to have this, that makes sense to me. That does work a bit. But this seller just shows up and has Poe, her sidekick deal. That is a shape-shifting mist, mist monster that ends up misting into anything that's related to Edgar Allan Poe. I, but I didn't get that at first. I see this wolf. Later, I'm like, where did that wolf go? Why is she there with these ravens? And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm a dummy. I get it. That's why it's called. But, but even then, it's just there. And then it's a cat at one point. It looks like it's looking for door, do, Doom's doorway. But <laughs> you even have a deal where Barda gets infected. She goes, oh, my God. And they're like, what happened? In what the, happened? Because in the previous uh, like pocket dimension that we're in, the reskin where we had, were with Barbara Gordon, she was attacked by Maya, who's a shape-shifting monster lady with all the power she's collected. And she has the power to, when she cuts you, Leave a little piece of herself behind and infect you to drive you mad. And that's what's happening to Barda in this and, issue. And so in this, Sella just keeps like, oh, well, you're screwed. I'm out of here. And, and then you'd have done it. Like, no, no, no. no you Sella, should stay with us. You should you. stay. No, no, no. I'm out of here. Come on, stay. And then you know, I'm staying. And you, you know she's going to. Like, like I said, I think that they're going to end up rescuing her and she'll become part of the Birds of Prey. But in that, though, as you go forward, then Barda's okay for a little, but she's infected at one point. It's like, Dinah, you, you just hear a crash And she goes, oh my god, what was that? Yep, Ugh. and you end up where <laughs> Sella goes, yeah, you guys are gonna last About five minutes and he, It's just she fell over and she's infected We kind of got that already, but then At the one point, I guess to explain it You end up, Canary who says Alright, alright gals I'm gonna Canary cry the shit out of her And, and then does it, doesn't do anything Does it again? I'm like, you're wasting time you're not well, doing even the idea that powers this. aren't working properly here, even though in the previous issue it was kind of wonky about how that worked, because it looked like the canary cry was affecting Maya, but sometimes it wasn't. And in this, we have, we have a determined that Vixen's connection through the red with the tandem totem is not working. But it seems weird because is it because Maya has a connection to the red for somehow her power shuts out any other connections to the red? Because we're obviously having a connection to the red here because that's the basis of all time travel in this. Yeah. And I mean, even the little bits and things that type, they end up showing up and, you know, you're trying to have fun with the costumes. It's not that much fun. But even no. Vixen's like, I'm in a uh decidedly like unsuperhero y uh costume. They and all do have like a nineteen fifties kind of style costume and she and she's like a Rosie the Riveter. It looks like almost like the bombshell is what it yeah. does look like. Uh and this should maybe we'll see these characters and Kelly Thompson hanging out in that bar and that outside is where you get cancelled when you just sit there. Not. Uh, I'm telling you this book sucks. No, I, I want it. But uh you end up where you even no, have that No, I still want to go back to the place between oh, the pages. Oh, you don't want to go there. Uh, no. But the idea where even, like, Sellers, like, shows up and there's, like, just, oh, are you from the 50s? Oh, you're kind of, I'm like, come on, just tell a story. And it's so convoluted to get the idea that at the beginning, I mean, here's the, the what you say moment. If we would have, that, now, this would have really played out where if I did have the copies of the things and you didn't know, and I'm like, get this, Eric, what I think's happening? There are these uh, seven <laughs> sisters, and the one steals powers. They have a pocket dimension. It, it ends up grabbing Maps's green-powered time tech, but turns it into the red, and then goes after Barbara. I'm like, honestly, who would dude, come up you, with this? You could say all of that shit. I'm like, yeah, I can get it. But what do you say? And their mother was Velvet Tiger. That bitch. <laughs> Who brings up Velvet Tiger out of nowhere? And it's fine because it's a fun little, like, you know, it was just like I a like silly, Velvet goofy. Tiger. I know you did, but it was like that, during that Batgirl Burnside era where everybody was just kind of goofy everybody and cartoony. Was, yeah. Yep. Everybody's cartoony. It's Babs Tar Art. And I, I think still at that point, and I don't know, she seemed kind of fun. And it was also <laughs> dealing with a lot of like art shows. It was just written things, so remember? poorly. It was. I, I know. But it, is this written better? I mean, no. we don't even get because, like you said, she's dead, but I think that we will. 
end up in this bringing her back. We will end up saving her in but a you, tiny saying, wimey way. Need, but what, you need to in the bring future. her back because she's not dead yet. Yeah, well, it's in the future. That's what I'm saying. So I it just. What you got to do is take Velvet Tiger from our time, throw it in this pocket dimension, never be heard from again. Yeah. yeah. Here's your mommy yeah. before she had you. Suck it. But we just, we get so much of that. Like, we got nothing about Sin leading in a character that we hadn't had for so but long. Why did just we throw have some. I'm telling you, I have to imagine that Maya attacking Barbara Gordon, obviously she's the main target, but also the Birds of Prey as a whole, because I have to think that Megara and Themyscira and Sin have something to tie into this as well, that what Vixen? was Maya's, I'm saying, what was Maya's plan with Vixen yeah, for that's making her clothes make people like, you know, sleepwalk to steal shit to ruin her brand? She'll she'll just say like, if it is, is that something even, else? I, I think it would just probably be like, oh, I needed a, maybe, I needed you here, maybe we'll see that she's going to try to get more of the red from my Vixen. Other sister, if she got the red from here. Vixen and maybe superpower to actually really do well, some no, that's time the thing travel, is, I She don't got know. the red from her one sister. I know, but I'm saying now she's going to have more red. This she she it's redder. Red? It's redder than red, Eric. She, she's, I just, I'm just saying, I'm though, seeing like, red. That's just imagine I'm that, doing. though. And, like, you know, Sella's going on with her exposition, like, and then she went after my one sister, bullshit name Ella. And she's <laughs> Ella, she had the power to make you sleepwalk in certain clothes. Yes. Like, I, I, what is and this? Then, and then combine it with our other, uh, our other sister. I don't know, Sammy, who is a kleptomaniac. Like other the steel bullshit shit. Name <laughs> no, I, this is how I read that deal. Oh, here's the backstory that I want to tell you guys. We had a bunch of bullshit sisters with bullshit powers, and you know, Maya, she grabbed all that bullshit, and now she can time travel, but she's not using it to save anybody. She's doing bullshit things with it. I don't, I don't even know why she's this, got the uh, time travel deal. To not try to change where you do end up saying, oh, yeah, we already saw it. But still, still try to change it then. And uh, it, it, Kill it doesn't make Gordon, sense. Save the and mommy. remember, the whole play was it, it seemed like somebody was jealous of the person. Just, what does this have to do with Vixen? Like you said, it has nothing, nothing to do with any of these other characters. It just ends up being Barbara Gordon. And they brought her and tried to protect her because she was in danger. Maps, Maps, who ends up saying, oh, my God, she's in danger, but I don't. Her shit got stolen. I guess she didn't know who did it. I mean, there's well, so even, many even weird in the, things. Like the previous issue, because we have this giant connection to Maps with her time travel tech. Hers is green for some reason. You know, that know glitches that out in times, but doesn't yeah. at others. You know, and just then to Maya's throw that is in. red related, and she can deal with that shit because it's red like has green red powers because because they, they told us. But the idea, though, in the previous issue, we had Maps run to get Zealot for backup and help, and I wish we would have dealt with her here, especially after this bombshell of a reveal about everything that's been going on that's just so convoluted. Yeah, Maps was like, that's where my shit went. Bitch. I would have liked to if you would have played it like, we're not going to play it any clever. It just ends up looking like, hey, look, I have a fishbowl. I put on my head red, green, time travel. But I would have liked the red to be almost like an Assassin's Creed where you jump through timeline like, or uh, like lineages and things. And right, right, right. That would have been pretty cool. You can have a thing now with like veins Sam and shit Beckett in the body of the yeah, tiger. That'd be awesome. Well, you're all what you're doing is going through and grabbing people's Sam, powers and possessing kill them Barbara anyway. Gordon if you got a leap, you're already possessing them. So do that. I'd be cool. Like I'm telling you, a big spread page where you have a bunch of veins, but those are the time travel circuits. Be awesome. Uh, but when we get into it, it's not that awesome. Well, Doesn't you don't make any know anything sense if anything like went. Because when you do see Maya, she's always just a monster woman, big and bulky and like you know, mad as hell. And even in this issue, when she is featured. She's just infe- – like, her consciousness has infected Barda, so it's just Barda, like, dark Barda coming for that ass until Cassandra Kane's able to say, you're so better than this, Barda. You ain't got to be this. You ain't got to be used. Blah. You're right, little bat. And, and that, and that right. take – what that does – and this is, again, this is kind of – I'll go to that Scarlet book this week that she did where he ended up having Scarlet out of nowhere just ripping through ninjas and, like, 800 ninjas. And so it makes it not matter. And when you have this where Barda – She's infected. Oh my god, that's pretty big to just go, uh, me, get rid of you, um, ugh, boom. And you're like, what do <laughs> classic you do? There's classic. Uh, the idea of like, yeah, that didn't, it doesn't have any stakes. There's no tension because you know that the way Kelly Thompson writes this shit, that it is not going to end up mattering because people will end up, oh, I'll just wipe that away, but we'll deal with this then and all these things. And in that, I could kind of make some things in my mind of what would happen because of this time travel. Like I said, Dixon, the red, but the red isn't working. But you also have maybe super powered uh, other side because you got Magara that could be a green thing. Now, now imagine I don't this. know. 
Megara does seem like has a weird connection to the green, even though yeah, in my mind so it should it be, be a that theory. opposite deal, right? But it's so funny to me because our big cliffhanger is, okay, Bard is taken care of. we got to find the next portal. Okay, there it is. Sin's going to jump through and the big cliffhanger, like I said, is it going to take on your per- like mind, Sin, or is it going to take on Megara's mind? What's the world going to look like? And I'm like, I don't give a fuck what the world looks like because the world doesn't matter. Just think of this. First off, it is a skin world of the mind of Barda. And Barda, one of the, it is kind of funny, like Barda comes in. But they're also, again, they're playing caveman Barda who, oh my God, she actually has like a nice side with this nice idyllic deal. But it, it felt weird. But this is the clip. This is the cliffhanger they come up with. The concept you already said. But I'm going to read the dialogue and it makes me laugh so much. Here at McGarry says, what do you think, Sin? Will it be my memories or yours it takes? Memories, Eric. But then says, should be interesting. And the final words in the book are, I don't know. <laughs> that's, what it's, it's like, that's the cliffhanger? I don't Thank you. know. Thanks oh, a God, lot. But again, spoke. memories. It, it more was the body. I don't know. I have powers. But these is. No, no. Really, the idea, though, when they go through the portals, it takes on like your thoughts about again, what the reskins are going to look like in the world. Like, and, and like you said, though, when you get to the but why next does it part, matter? well, that's what I'm saying. What this is is me and you playing a video game and saying, "What do you think they'll have for the next downloadable skin for the character?" You know, Dead by Daylight. No, no. Do you think just that they're going to have Planet you're, of the Apes, Eric? You're, you're just no, no. There's nothing like that because that actually will give you something. This is playing a video game, and every level is just the same level with a new background. Well, it, it is. Here's the deal. Here's what we go because even Barbara, she does re- wake up in a prison cell. And says, man, I keep waking up on grimy floors, but seems to know everything about what's going on outside the cell. But yeah, what you have is it is a a game called The Room. And I think uh-huh. they even had that. You never leave the room. Is that like Silent Hill? It, it, it kind of will go with that. I do think there was a game. But we ne- you never leave the room, the one room. But the skins that you can buy, they're people suckers, Eric. I remember when people were buying that horse armor. Uh, forget. <laughs> You end up, the, you never see them because it's outside, but you never leave the room. But the, the outside, the skins are there. <laughs> you pay for them and they're like invisible. Do you ever see where they had the graded invisible comic? It's no. just uh, one of those, you know, cases. Uh, it's invisible there. It's pretty funny. Uh, they actually had that. Is bullshit. it like one of those like like things you see like a meme, like one of those retro figures and inside the, the little bubble is like the invisible man and there's Yeah, like there. something like that. But it was like actually by the, the place that does the grading and they graded uh-huh. them different. So you could actually get like a graded 9.2 of the invisible Suckers. comic. But I might have an 8.6, right? <laughs> so stupid. You're just spending money for uh, nothing. Yeah. yeah. So when, when you do have it at the end, and I'm, I'm glad you brought it up because I'm so stupid. I'm reading. I'm so angry at the end. That when I was saying that, because as I'm reading it, I actually put more oomph into the issue, thinking that what they were saying was they were going to be taken over by Maya. But you're right. It's just the skin of yeah, the next deal. It and, doesn't matter. And the only thing that you would go, but it doesn't matter. got to hit that, Eric. It's like, it doesn't it, matter. It, it's not going to reveal anything. Like, is it going to be like, oh, my God. We're in a jungle. This is what will happen. Look at this viney world of the camera. Oh, I'm Shit. We're, no, this is what's going to happen. They're going to go out, and it's going to be jungle world. Oh, my God, fine. I'm like, oh, man, Megara. It's not me. Oh, that, we just found out it was no, Sin. No, no, no. Sin likes Bring the it, jungle. Exactly. That's what not it even be. That. You, you could get some more background into Sin because, you know, the, we have not actually done nothing with Sin in the story. We've intro- reintroduced the character, tell you nothing about the past, and hope that nobody cares who hasn't read Sin before and just jump in. So maybe this will be a way – yeah, to but tell what are you going to do? Eleven issues in, then who this character we're so focused on is. If you end up getting in this next world, and you're going to play the idea of her inner workings, what she really loves, or whatnot, and we just show up and it's like Dinah's house. Like, what are you going to like? What in your mind? You know the character enough. She, she's. I'm saying she's going to be. It's going to be a boring library because that's all she did on Femme. That's Scandal what I'm saying, read. and that's not going to tell you anything. But if it, it might ends be up, ultra violent as well. well that's because, what I'm saying. You know, if you get is. to something, but we're not. That's the weird part about it too. In these worlds, they don't seem inhabited. So no. if you jump in to say all of a sudden, like people wouldn't know that she was raised as a weapon, she was trained as a ninja, all these things, and you go into that, and she's freaking out. Why is it this? 
but I think we're past that point. And it's I, a I think it confuses everybody. Meat hanging everywhere, blood on the ground. It's like a, a circus, like a an amusement park. I, I don't know. What, 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 it's what, a it, circus amusement it's park. There. You just end up you're there, and it's like, wait a second, what's going on? This is an OnlyFans set. I, I okay, don't for get some it, reason, right? I thought you were commenting on what I said. I'm like, is that, is that what you took no, your kids no, to? No, no, I was just, I was just trying, I was park, just kids. trying to come up with things. <laughs> it's like they go in there. It's an adult world. They're in a sex shop. They're in the liquor store. Time to play. We didn't know she. She has a drinking problem. I don't know. I don't know. You, you get in there and they're at like the aisle it's in not Walmart. It's to make me think, boy, I can't wait to see that though. And, well, they'll have the aisle in Walmart where they sell all the like the weed killer and stuff. And then McGarrett's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's going to be bullshit. I, 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 I don't even know that it's going to even do anything. It's such, it's bad. I don't get it. I don't get the story and who is letting this go. I mean, somebody has to tighten up the reins here. And do something. I'm looking at it. It is. It is Jessica. Uh, what is that? Be- is it Burby. 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 Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to read that name as as bad as this issue reads itself. Jessica Burby. I don't even know that name. I don't know it, Eric. And then these group editors, Rob Levin, Levin, Tate his ass over here and do something, right, Eric? Does that makes sense. Huh? Levin Tate his ass <laughs> over here. I said, and and also Jessica Burby. To do something. There you I don't take know what you're doing in this whole segment. Take that, girly. Uh, but what would you give this? I would give this a three out of ten. The story is just incoherent garbage, and when they try to explain things, they have to over-explain because no work was done before, where it's just a bunch of nonsense that comes at you. It's just over the top, and it's hard to even explain to the point where even the characters, it's wibbly wobbly timey wimey nonsense. It's hard to do with time travel shenanigans. And the art, it's, it's, it's the same as it's been, but it's not something I've ever really been a fan of. It's fine, but it's not great but overall. So three out of here, I think they do keep changing artists, too, and everybody's trying to ape the same style. We just keep going. I'm three out of ten as well. It doesn't feel like a Birds of Prey book, first off. It feels just like nonsense. It's Kelly Thompson with a bunch of characters running around with their heads cut off. It's, it's more, you know, I would say more Three Stooges than anything. Three Stooges was good. That's I don't, I don't yeah. want to, you know, disparage that, but it's just like, it feels like random thoughts at random times. It's, you know, hey, I got to write this issue. All right. Well, I just thought of this. And then, yeah, you go with that. But nothing feels like this. Wait, nothing feels connected. The characters have been in almost everything they've done have been neutered and nerfed and they can't use their powers. Right. So why are you doing this? Just give us a good story. Jesus not Christ. Even depicted I know that, you know, with. some people love them. Some people cancel them, whatever. But seriously, give us a, you know, like a Chuck Dixon or even something that Gail Simone read those and, and see what made this book great. It's not this shit. Weird science is the revolution.